Welcome to our overview of nerve blocks. Your surgeon has asked your anesthesiologist to see if you are a candidate for a nerve block. The anesthesiologist is a doctor who specializes in the relief of pain and administering anesthesia for patients having surgery. The purpose of a nerve block is to reduce pain during your recovery, improve physical therapy results, and reduce the amount of strong pain medicine you will need to take after surgery. Strong pain medicines can have side effects like constipation, sleepiness, and nausea. The peripheral nervous system transmits important messages such as pain to the brain. A nerve block can reduce or even take away the pain you may feel by blocking signals from the nerves to the brain. A numbing medication, just like the one used at the dentist's office to numb the nerves around your teeth, is used to numb the nerves that go to the body area where you are having surgery. In some surgeries, your surgeon and anesthesiologist may suggest a nerve block catheter instead of just a single injection of numbing medicine. A catheter is a small tube about the size of fishing line. This small tube can be used to slowly drip numbing medicine around a nerve and extend a nerve block's action for up to three days. Certain medical conditions may prevent you from being able to get a nerve block, like taking a blood thinner, severe lung disease, allergies to numbing medication, or nerve problems in the body area that you are having surgery on. Please talk to your anesthesiologist if you have any of these problems. In order to have a nerve block catheter, you must also be reachable by phone after you go home, have an adult to help care for you at home 24 hours a day, be able to understand and speak English, and be able to understand simple instructions. Having an adult to help care for you is important because your nerve block may affect your balance and ability to perform activities. The nerve block is usually done right before surgery, but in some cases it may be done after surgery. On the day of your surgery, your anesthesiologist will review your medical history and the type of surgery you are having. They will discuss with you if a single injection nerve block or a nerve block catheter is a good choice for you. It is important to remember that your nerve block is just one piece of your pain management plan. Your surgeon may also prescribe ice, physical therapy, and pain pills. The nerve block is not meant to take away all of your pain, but it will lower the amount of pain you have after surgery. The numbness from a single injection nerve block will wear off over 8 to 24 hours. How long it takes to wear off will depend on the type of numbing medicine your anesthesia doctor has used. Once the nerve block begins to wear off, it can wear off very fast, sometimes as quickly as 30 to 60 minutes. When the nerve block wears off, you may experience strong pain. You may also experience numbness and tingling along with your pain as your nerve block wears off. This is completely normal. Remember, once the nerve block begins to wear off, it can wear off very fast. Pain medicine pills can take up to an hour for you to feel their effects. Therefore, when a nerve block is wearing off and you begin to feel pain, you should take the pain medicine as prescribed by your surgeon. If your surgery was in the morning or early afternoon, your nerve block may wear off in the middle of the night. You may wish to take your pain medications before going to bed to keep you from having too much pain during the night. This is the end of our video on nerve blocks. Good luck with your surgery and thank you for watching.